hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so for today's video I have my current foundation routine so this is the outcome of the video so if you guys are interesting interested in learning my current foundation routine just keep on watching okay you guys so i already have my eyebrows done that is the only thing that i have done on my face and i do have a little bit of a lip balm on but yeah so the first thing that i want to do is i want to start off with the mixing with the fixing mist and i'm gonna use this one by pixie it's the pixie skin treats makeup fixing mist with rose water and green tea so i'm just gonna spray this on my face like this okay. and i don't know what's wrong with my skin um i think i have a rash like some kind of rash because i have like a lot of little like pimples like red dots on my skin so I think it's a rash but I don't know what's causing it but yeah okay so we have this mixing fist no the fixing mist on and I'm just gonna let it sink into my skin okay now for primer, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and this is Pore Minimizing and I'm just going to concentrate this on the places where I have the largest pores. So that's what I'm going to do. So around like basically on my T-zone, like on my nose, on my forehead. And on my chin. And I really love this primer because it just it blurs out my my pores and that's what I like because I have like I don't have a lot of pores but like on my cheeks and like on my nose I do have like large pores so yeah Okay, and then I'm just going to apply some on the rest of my face. okay so now let's move on to foundation and the foundation that I have been using a lot is this one by makeup forever and this is the makeup forever matte velvet and it's a mattifying foundation and I have it in the color I mean in the number 53 so I'm just going to apply this with my Real Techniques um, Miracle Sponge. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to dot this all over my face and then just blend it out with my sponge 
and this foundation has really really nice like full coverage and that's what I like about this foundation and like it doesn't feel that you're wearing a lot of foundation like that you're wearing foundation when you when you use this and that's another reason why I like it and also because it's mattifying so yeah because I have oily skin and this foundation it does get a little bit oily like around my t-zone my t-zone but I'll just uh, set that with the powder so I'm just gonna blend this out really quick foundation all blended out and the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my concealer slash highlight I don't know because I use this like my concealer to highlight like the like my face so yeah and the one that I'm gonna use is by Maybelline and this is the Maybelline fit me concealer and I have it on the shade 20 sand yeah sand yeah sand so I'm just gonna apply this on my under eyes and I like to apply my concealer in a triangle shape like that So I like to apply it in a triangle shape because I use it like as a highlight and also because like if you just put it on your dark circles uh, it's gonna look weird like it's gonna um, like people could, will be able to tell that you have concealer on so Okay, so I'm applying it to my forehead and to my the bridge of my nose and also a little bit on my chin just to highlight the high points of my face. Okay, so I'm just going to blend that out and I'll be right back. Okay, so my concealer is all blended out and the next step that I'm going to be doing is setting my concealer and for that, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Color Icon Contouring Palette and it has a highlight side and also a contour side but I'm only going to use the highlight side and this is in the color Caramel Toffee looks like this and I'm going to be using this one to set my concealer and to set it, I like to use um, like this little sponge and this is from Real Techniques and this is their, what is it, mini eraser sponge, I believe. So I'm just going to grab some of the powder with the sponge and I'm just going to press, press it into the concealer. And I'm really concentrating the powder right here because this is where I like where it tends to crease more like my concealer okay, and I'm 
gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're almost done. Okay, so we are done setting our concealer. And the next step is just to set my foundation. And to set my foundation, I like to use the Maybelline Fit Me Madame Poreless Powder in True Beige. Looks like this. And this powder is for normal to oily skin. So I'm just going to grab this e.l.f. powder brush. It looks like this. And I'm going to grab some of the powder. And I'm just gonna set my foundation. Okay, so the foundation is set. And the next step that I do is I uh, bronze, like I bronze my face a little bit. So for that I'm going to be using my e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzing powder. And I don't have the blush anymore because it fell out. <laughs> so I'm only going to use the bronzer. And I'm going to be using this fluffy, uh, I guess it's a powder br brush from BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to put that in a little bit on my forehead, on the sides of my forehead. And then on the hollows of my cheeks. Can I use it as a blush, like if you were putting a blush? So like that, a little bit on my chin, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, on my, the sides of my forehead, on my cheeks, on the hollows of my cheeks, and then on my chin. And I'm also going to place a little bit on my nose. And right here. So. Okay, so we have the bronzer on. And now I'm going to contour. And for that, I'm going to be using, where's my contour powder? Hold on, I forgot my contouring powder. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so for my contour, I'm going to be using this one from the Master Contour uh, Face Contouring Kit from Maybelline. And I got it in the, in the shade Medium to, to Deep. And I'm only going to use the contour on this and I like to use this brush from Royal and Langwin Co. It's their contouring brush so I'm just gonna apply it 
to the hollows of my cheeks so like right here and I don't like to like my contour I don't like to bring it down because I don't know I just like it doesn't look okay like it doesn't look right so I'm, I just like to concentrate it right here like you could see like the shadows where like where the shadows are so right here right here so yeah Okay, and then I'm gonna apply a little bit on my on the sides of my forehead right here on the middle on the other side and also on my chin And then for my nose, I like to use this e.l.f. Uh, blending eye brush. So I'm just going to put it on the sides of my nose. Right here. And then on the other side. I like to contour my nose. Just to, um, so it could look a little bit slimmer. And also right here. Okay, and then I'm just going to blend everything out with this uh, Royal and Langwing Coat Duo Fiber Brush. And I'm just going to blend everything out. So there's no harsh lines. Okay. okay so and the next step is blush and for my blush today well I don't use this blush like every day it just depends on like what kind of look I'm doing but today I'm gonna be using my Essence Silk Silky Touch Blush in Baby Doll and I'm just gonna apply it to the apples of my cheeks and I'm gonna be using this brush from crown brushes yeah and I'm just gonna apply this on my cheeks and I like to start right here and then move down to the apple I just think it looks more um, natural this way like if you do it this way gonna do the same thing on the other side and this brush is like one of my favorites I use it for blush or sometimes I use it to apply my highlight or to contour sometimes and it just it's my favorite like it blends everything out so easily and it applies the, like the product so nicely 
so that's why it's my favorite okay so we are done with the blush and now the most exciting part for me is the highlight and for that I'm gonna use this ColourPop highlight in Flexitarian and this is like a golden or like a pearl champagne color it's gorgeous like if you haven't tried the highlights from ColourPop you should because they are the best like they're so pigmented can you see that and then I'm gonna swatch it watch look at that so so pigmented like it's crazy and they are very inexpensive they're only eight dollars six dollars so yeah very inexpensive and to apply it I like to use my fingers so I'm just gonna grab a little bit with my fingers and put it on the high points of my cheeks like right here and I also like to go up towards my my brow like on the top of my eyebrow okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side okay now on the tip of my nose and also on the bridge and on my pupils bow okay so now we're gonna blend it out with the brush and the brush that I like to use is this one by elf and this is the elf small stipple brush and I like to use this to just blend out the highlight And the reason why I apply it with my fingers is because it's a cream highlight and the warmth of your finger um, it just like it applies it better if you use your fingers and then you could just blend it out with a brush like a dual fiber brush so it doesn't look as harsh and I'm just going to apply a little bit more on this side so it looks even okay, so I'm just going to blend it up with the brush So there's the highlight. I love this highlight. Like ever since I got it, I'm just obsessed. I I can use another highlight besides this one. And but I, I like to set this highlight because since it's a cream, so I like to set it so it won't move around like throughout the day. And I like to use the highlight that comes in the the master contour kit from Maybelline and it's this one and it's kind of like the same color so I'm just gonna set my highlight with this and this highlight the one from Maybelline it's beautiful on its own it's also beautiful it's like a golden champagne 
so it's gorgeous. Okay, and then I'm just gonna grab the same brush that I used to blend out my contour. And I'm just gonna blend everything out so there's no harsh lines. And then, and then the last step that I do is just take the same uh, fixing mist that we used at the beginning and just set my, like set everything. And this also takes away like the powderiness, like if you, if your face look, if your face looks kind of powder, powdery, this takes off the, like the powderiness. So I'm just going to apply it, like spray it, one more time. Okay. <coughs> I got it inside my mouth. <coughs> it's okay. Okay, you guys, so we are finished with my current or updated foundation routine. So this is the outcome. So, yes, very glowy and fresh, I guess. Okay, so if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And if you guys have any comments on looks that you guys want me to do or any videos that you guys want me to, to make, uh, just leave me a comment down below. And also, don't forget to follow me on my social media. And I will have everything in the description bar down below of all the products and like my social media stuff. Okay, so yes, um, I hope you guys have a nice day and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.